Hey guys, it's Ariana. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am trying to turn myself into the jack-o'-lantern that Glamangora did on her channel in 2016. She used scar wax, but I just tried to do it using scar wax and as you can see, I'm not a pumpkin. It didn't work. So I'm going to use liquid latex. So liquid latex is something I am used to using and I'm comfortable using, so hopefully we can make this look good with liquid latex. It's a little bit more user-friendly than scar wax in my opinion. I don't really like scar wax. It kind of sucks. So, what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be putting my liquid latex in my usual bowl and just using tissue paper from the bathroom and sculpting this jack-o'-lantern on like that. <laughs> so, I have already drawn on the shape of my jack-o'-lantern so you guys can make your jack-o'-lantern or whatever shape you want. This is just what I'm doing. This is what Flamagor did. So if you guys haven't seen her video already, I would highly recommend going and watching it. It's going to be a hell of a lot better than my attempt at her tutorial. <laughs> I wish I knew how to put her video like right here or something so she could be like in it while I do it and talking and explaining, but I don't know how to do that. So I'm just going to have to tell you guys to go watch her video. <laughs> so I am going to start off by putting liquid latex just over top of my outline where I want it. Pumpkin to be. So once you have the liquid latex all over your triangle or whatever shape that you want for your pumpkin, just take some tissue paper and rip it up into strips. And then you can start laying it down on top of your latex. I'm just putting it down in like a warm -like shape. If you found your latex is already dried too quickly, you can just add a little bit more. Now once that's done, I will like go over top of it with some more like liquid latex. Then I would go over it again with the another like, couple pieces of tissue paper just to make sure that it is as built up and high as you want it. And then you're gonna wait for this to dry. So probably about five minutes or so. While well, I've been sitting here um, watching Mikey's video over again just to see what she was doing with the wax and what I did wrong, I've just been building up the edges just to make them stick out a little bit more and make them a little bit straighter just by doing exactly this and making them stand up a little bit more because you don't want them to look flat. You want it to look like you actually carved into your face and that it's your skin. So now that that's done, I'm going to move on to the next side, so the other eye. One thing that I would recommend if you guys do want to try this look and you guys do want to do it with liquid latex is that I would keep in mind that a lot of latex that you get from costume stores, this is professional grade, it's from the company Ben Nye, I, it doesn't have a very strong ammonia smell whereas cheaper latex that you get from most pop-up Halloween stores will have a very strong ammonia smell and it may irritate your eyes. Also. Liquid latex is, and latex in general is a very common allergen, so make sure you do a spot test on your skin before you start applying liquid latex ever because you don't know if you're allergic or not and having this on your face and having a reaction would be very, very, very bad. I'm allergic to latex, but not liquid latex for whatever reason, it doesn't bother me. But condoms, very much so. Mm. I'm doing the exact same thing that I just did on the other side. Mm -hmm. 
Be very careful around your eyes not to get liquid latex on your eyelashes. Also, I'm aware that I got liquid latex, li liquid latex on my eyebrows and getting this off is going to be interesting, to say the least. So I think I just need a little bit more um, right here since I missed right there. Because I built this side up a lot higher than I did the other. And I'm just gonna let it dry. So while that's drying, I think I'm going to move on to the mouth because that's probably gonna be a little bit harder. So this is what I do to build up the edges, just to make them less flat, stick out a little bit more, but it's not fully dry yet. So I'm not going to touch them too much. I will say that if you have chapped lips, maybe this isn't the best look for you because I have very chapped lips right now and it hurts. <laughs> Now that once your face is, the latex is molded on your face, you can just go in on the dry spots and just try to make the edges stand up a little bit more. And now you can do that on the mouth as well. Now I'm just going in and roughing up the skin around the mouth part where it was cut open with some latex. I also forgot the nose, so I'm just gonna go in and do the exact same thing just on my nose. There's some fake blood mixed in my bowl and it turned my latex kind of pink, which is okay. And now it is time to paint. So I am using the Meron body paint set and the closest thing that I have in this set to red would be this dark red. That's the one that I'm going to use. So hopefully it's not as dark as, I don't know, it's coming up blood red. Cool. So I'm gonna go in on my Need You Look brush with some Meron body paint and I'm going to fill in everything red. and I am almost out and I'm just using it on my hand and I'm gonna go in and I'm going to make all of this shit that's lifted the same color as my skin. Okay, 
understand why Mikey used Scarwax. It's a hell of a lot cleaner. It looks way better with Scarwax, but I don't know how to use it. And I wasn't gonna pretend that I knew how. So, this is what we're stuck with. Hope that's okay with you guys. I'm mixing a little bit of the Form This Way foundation in because I needed more foundation and I was pretty much out of the ColourPop one. So I'm just going over top of all of the latex with the no filter foundation. I'm just getting rid of any parts that are still wet. And now once we're at this point, we are going to go in with some scab blood. So if you're unfamiliar with scab blood, it is a gel blood. It's really, really fun. It's really gross. It's really gooey and it works extremely well. There is another fucking latex on my blood brush. Dear Lord. All right, so now we're just gonna go in and goo this up. I actually think that this looks pretty gory and gruesome already as it is. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NYX Contour and Sculpting Palette and I am going to use some of the brown that's from it and I'm just going to put some lines on my face similar to what a pumpkin has. And then on the other side of my brush I'm just going to blend it into my skin. Now that I 100% cannot see my camera, this is the finished look for the Carved Pumpkin. I tried doing these Glam and Gores Carved Pumpkin, her jack-o'-lantern that she did in 2016. She used scar wax to do it and I could not get scar wax to work. It was way not happening. So I decided to do it with liquid latex. So if you guys haven't already seen her video, I will link it down below. She did an amazing job on hers. Hers looks a million times better than mine and that's because she's a professional, I am not. So this is just my recreation of Mikey from Glam and Gore's Jack-O-Lantern. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to hit the subscribe button down below for more content like this. If you guys do like SFX videos and body paint videos and just videos that are kind of creepy and fun at the same time, then definitely subscribe to my channel. I love putting out new videos. I put out a new video about three times a week so if you guys are interested in creepy-ish, weird videos, then my channel is the channel for you. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys get my next one. Bye! Good God. Dr. Rob was in love with you, and she said, Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, what a little bing bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, ting, what a little bing bang. I need to find my contacts. Are you a fool's girl? Oh my God. Yes, I did.